right, moving on. We also There's saw a lot of VIPs walking yeah. up. I just yeah. want to say that's crazy. Food bars there. So the Hangover um, just came out. It, you thought it was going to be the highest grossing comedy of the summer. I am still thinking um, that maybe. So the Hangover comes from Todd Phillips, who did uh, uh, Road Trip and Old School and some other movies. And it's basically a high concept, high concept, low yeah. brow film about a bunch of dudes uh, that wake up after their buddy's ba bachelor party. Uh, buddy's gone missing, and they have to piece together. They don't remember anything that happened. They don't they're so hungover. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And they have to piece together uh -oh. the night before. Um, similar to a, uh, another movie called About Last Night or The Night Before. Or, or The Hangover. Um, now, I'm going to go on record here to say I haven't seen this movie. So Alex I didn't get a chance to see the movie. I'm going to no. start with Jeff. <laughs> I think you should start with Alex. Yeah. You can start with Jeff. me. I'm excited to hear what Jeff says. What did you think about The Hangover? You know how I feel about trailers. Yes. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on record, as Alex would say, uh, not being a fan of trailers how, and trying to avoid them at every cost. Yes. However, I did see this trailer. And it made me laugh out loud many times. The trailer in the theater made me laugh out loud. Yes. Oh, I'm scared. I know where this is going. Unfortunately, the film, I don't think, lives up to the trailer. I don't Am think I... the film lives up to the premise. Uh, the end credits of this movie are far funnier than the movie. The end credits are awesome. But I didn't, that isn't in the movie. And it's the funniest part of the movie. I think the movie is pretty funny. It's, it's, I laughed a couple of times. And I think a lot of people are going to find enjoyment and will probably criticize me for not liking it because it's wacky and it's over the top, yes. But I found Zach Galifianakis not very funny. The person I laughed, all the laughs I got from this movie are whenever, um, oh, what's his name, a toothless guy. Ed, Ed, from the Ed Helms. Helms opened his mouth. I'm a big Ed Helms fan, but he is really the only funny part of this movie and he's continually funny. Um, but I think overall the movie just has such a great premise that when you find out really what happened, when they do piece it together, it kind of just always is less interesting than what you think may could have happened. Yeah. Hmm. I totally disagree, actually. Um, oh, Dan. I'm going to start this off by saying, uh, putting on record what I Twittered uh, a few months ago. That's that already I, on record. If I you Twittered it, it's on record. I put it in visual record. Um, <laughs> oh, that, record. That, <laughs> that Zach Galifianakis one day will be nominated for an Academy Award. You can't really see it in this movie. It's not, you know, he. All right, well, not, not, you're saying for G Force. Not juxtaposing for G Force, I but I think I think he's gonna. He's got this punch Inner drunk CD. love, Adam Sandler ishness. What did you think of the movie? So I really liked The Hangover. I didn't laugh wall to wall throughout the whole movie. I loved the premise, um, and I thought the movie does such uh, a great job with the premise. Um, I love that. It, similar to movies like what Scream does, yeah, where yeah, it, there's, yeah. a, there's an opening sequence that you think is a, has the lead actress and then she's gone throughout yeah. the rest of the movie. And this movie does that as well. And what you're left with are three character actors, guys that are, have uh, smaller roles in other things that don't normally carry movies. And here they are. And it's, it sort of makes a real life, the real life relationship you have with these actors is what you're seeing on screen. And you, it really huh. just made me buy the adventure that they're on more because I, they, I wasn't seeing Tom Cruise or Will Ferrell or whatever do the wacky stuff. Like I wasn't bringing what I know what, what they right. really are. I was just seeing their characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was spectacular. Do you think that this movie is just, even remotely as funny as I Love You Man? Um, I mean, it's hard to relate them because for well, me... They're both comedies, that's all I ask. That's yeah, but, but for me, what I, I love the, the ride of this movie. The adventure, the, the find, discovering the plot was so much more enjoyable than any of the laughs in the movie. Um, mm. So, was that what you thought was going to happen? I agree <laughs> with both of you on some levels. <laughs> no, I'm excited to see it. I think... Uh, I mean, I don't, I have, I haven't seen it, but I'm I laughed more during Up than I did during that movie. I didn't laugh very much during Up, but are you kidding me, Kevin? I have, I want yeah. him. Well, let's uh, let's go play some yeah, video let's talk games. Yeah, let's talk about E3. Hit up the arch.